Well, happy, happy, happy Tuesday, everyone. I know it's kind of weird that we're on Tuesday. Um, hang on a second. It's kind of nice. We're giving Vinny some earbuds so we don't echo back. Okay. So, happy belated Mother's Day to all of you mothers. Yay, hope everyone had a happy Sunday. And so now we are at Tuesday. And this is now the Tuesday night Rock Your Life team get together. Because um, it was brought to my attention by Miss Lori that perhaps going into summer Sunday may not be the best night to be doing a team call. So we're going to do Tuesdays and that seems to, by the poll that we put out there, seems to be a better day for everyone. So let's um, start off this amazing call. Say hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Um, Let's start off with some gratitude, some celebrations, some shout outs. Now I'm going to celebrate Mona and yes. Jared and her Kate. And I know there was a whole bunch of, and Morgan, a whole bunch of people you, you worked with to just put on the most awesome little virtual launch belly buster party. And so very cool. Congratulations. You guys rocked it. It was very good. So it was awesome. I have people going, can we be involved too? Can we be involved too? So um, it will be bigger gonna grow here we go that's right huge shout out Mona you did it you did a great job great job so did Jarrett and Morgan thanks guys all right dairy free is back yes. oh yay dairy free yay. is back we were gonna talk about that a little bit but yes dairy free is back so um if you are going to order uh, remember that right now because they want to make sure that all the shipments get fulfilled you can only order six boxes max right now so I know there were some people who were trying to go in and mass order but um, they're only gonna let you do six for now to make sure that our supply stays good yay anybody else celebrations congratulations shout out what good things are happening I have a shout out for Annie. I love your posts. It's on Facebook. The new new year, new you. Is that the site? Oh, of? thank you. You're what, welcome. What, what, You're doing awesome. You're motivating me. I sit there and watch you every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks. You're welcome. And you all motivate me, and that's why I'm kind of doing doing that. I'm doing that's it. That's awesome. That's you guys. So thank you. And then Mona with your C, your C, the 5K to the couch to 5K. I love it. I love it. So I'm good. So we are, who's coming to UIA with me and Vinny? Mona and Katya. Ooh, okay. Here we go. I know. Um, can't wait to get there. Yes, Miss Mona. Um, I want to say something because you mentioned the event that um, Jarrett and yeah. um, Morgan and I just did, and I am literally still perspiring. That was the <laughs> fastest 30 minutes of my entire life. So much information, so much planning, and the three of us did our jobs, and we were scripted, and we stayed the course, and I'm so proud of us. But I will, this coincides with your question about the event because the three of us sat together in Philadelphia. And they, told, they showed us two different things in two different presentations. One, how to do a Facebook event. We didn't create any of this. Really smart people created it. And we simply took their really good stuff and made it our own. The second thing they talked to us about was Bedtime Belly Buster. And voila, the company has put a bundle together. They're doing a national belly, Bedtime Belly Buster starting June 4th. It made so much sense to combine those two things. So when pe people talk about going to events and what you're gonna get from events, you get all sorts of crazy things for events. And one of the things that the three of us got was the confidence to do something like put together 
a bedtime belly buster Facebook event. And so I don't know what Katja and I are going to get um, this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but I know that we're going to come back and she and I are going to feel like we can do anything. And probably we're going to copy and paste other people's really great ideas because I'm not a formulator of good ideas. I'm really good at implementing other ideas. But Jarrett, Morgan, and I sat in three chairs and thought, if they can do it, why can't we? And guess what? We just did. So I'm like so excited about what we might come up with. So in the next couple weeks, you might see something wild and crazy from Katja and I because she and I are sitting next to each other and we're going to say, why not us? So anyway, so excited. Mm, good stuff. Thank you for sharing. And and really, it was your um, attending Isotonics University that kind of put the spark into some others to to get their booties down to Dallas. So that's uh, good. And, you know, we know events build belief, no question. And not only do they build belief, they give us ideas. They, they reignite our, our fire. They remind us why we're here. So the events, uh, if you consider that if I was going to spend a million dollars to go have a, a McDonald's franchise, let's say, and go spend, I don't even know what a McDonald's franchise costs. I don't really care because I would never buy one, but let's say it's a million dollars. And they said, you have to go to this training, this training, this training, this training. Would I not go to make my million dollar investment the best that I could? Well, I would. And so that's when we think of that with the company, it's so important to get to events. There's no question that it, you just have to make it part of what this business is about. And so since you were talking about the, the belly buster, the promo kicks off this week and it'll run till May 27th. So when you get the, the belly buster promo, you get 25% off the bundle. And um, when, you, when you get it with any pack or system, right? So the bundle now is like 6150. So that's a pretty good deal to get the belly buster pack. And then the company is going to do their corporate belly buster challenge starting fourth to the 17th. I know that through, oh, there's my Pied Piper in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um, but there's, <laughs> that's my sister who just walks in and say, hey, hi, sister. Peek your face in there. They can see you. She couldn't see you guys because I was reading off of my screen. So she snuck in in the back. You guys chat in the other room. All right. So let's see. I'm going to make sure that you guys know what's going on right now. So Spirit of Isogenics nominations are open. And we have until the 18th to nominate somebody from the team. Um, we have some ideas of nominating one person. So what we would like to do is nominate one person in the team and then everybody kind of get behind that person. And um, so you will be getting some private messages from either myself or Katya or um, Sonia. There's a bunch of people with, that we've been talking about nominating. Um, someone and so um, you'll be getting messages about that so we would appreciate if you would also throw in a nomination for a very special person in the team and oops I'm gonna shut you guys off hang on a second um dairy freeze back yay yay Woo -hoo. Mm -hmm. and I hope you guys have all tried the dairy free harvest thin little oh they're so good yeah they're so good um, so the next up, upcoming deadline, so anyone who's working for Crystal Executive, May 27th is our deadline for that. And so if anybody's working hard for it and needs extra help and wants support, then reach out because we are all here to help and support and do three-way calls and whatever we can do to help get you there. Um, there's also one more, th oh, the, the double rank advancement bonus that you get for consultants. So did you guys know that when someone becomes consultant right now, instead of getting just $50, they've doubled that to make it 100 So they have a $50 extra incentive to move themselves into just consultant. That's cool, right? So that's also till the 27th. 
and UIA this weekend. Make sure you get your national tickets. I know they're going fast, and I heard from somebody the other day that um, they will probably sell out soon. So if you have not gotten one, definitely get on that. There's going to be such amazing things coming at Celebration, and I just started planning the team party. So just as a little incentive to get down to Nashville and hang out with us. So last week we chatted about vision. So if we don't know where we're going, how will we ever get there? If we don't have a GPS and our GPS isn't set, how do we know? So if I just get in my car and I push on the gas and I have no direction, where's my car gonna go? Into a wall, into a house, and it might be go straight for a little while, but we're gonna end up eventually in some place we probably don't wanna be. So mm -hmm. the point of putting the vision, vision together is to put us in a direction so we can look at this every single day and know where we're headed to. And when we write our vision, we write it from the position of looking back that it's already been created. We're already at our destination and looking back and feeling grateful for the things that have taken place. And so the one thing that, that I want you guys to, to understand is that no matter what, when you start moving forward into this direction and you get solid on what you have written, written down on your paper as your vision, you are going to come up with resistance. No question, as soon as you put something out to the world like that, you will get resistance from your own brain you're gonna get resistance from the people around you. Things are gonna to happen to, to make sure that you, this is what you really want. You might get sick, somebody around you might not feel good. Um, some like crazy things happen when we set an intention. The universe does that to make sure this is what we really want. So are you gonna stay the course? That's the question. And so when you get up and read this vision every single day, you go to bed every night and read this vision before you go to bed, you have set your intention for your dreams, for your whole day, for where you're going. And I'm excited. I wrote mine down. I added a whole bunch of people's goodies in here because every I had I had four people, only four people sent me their vision. So I included them. But if you want to send it, I'll include you. So um, I um, and Katya, I think you sent me mine on the Zoom, or sent me yours on the Zoom, and I couldn't go back and find it. Was that you? Okay. Um, but I want to start off, who's got their vision written? Ah, okay, Lori, I saw your hand first. So outside of all the personal stuff that you may not want to share, can you, can you share your vision with us? Sure. Um, I didn't write mine from, it's already done in the past, so I'm going to, try to read it that way. Um, and I kind of just bullet point it, but um, I'm debt free, car, student loan, whole nine yards. Um, I go to the grocery shop and out to dinner and I don't do full on calculus anymore to make a decision. I buy presents and gifts for people when I see them and I don't have to make a multi-month budget and plan to be able to go back and buy them. Um, I easily can go on a trip when I want. I have a business I am proud of. I work out when I want, and I am a homeowner. That's what I got. Good stuff. So how do you feel looking back on that and seeing that's the life you've created? Well, I think that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> <It's so cute. laughs> I want to be able to call my mom and tell her all those things. Awesome. Okay. So we're, we, we, when we do this together, not only do you put the intention out there, but we can also lift you up and support you in your, in your vision casting. And um, so important. Now it the works. order's been put in. The waiter's going to get it filled. I mean, it works. I put Don't Hawaii, change on. Your mind. <laughs> Hawaii on a vision once and here I am. So good. can't argue that the vision and putting it out there doesn't work. That's if right. I, tell anybody, I probably wouldn't be here, so. Good job. Thank you. Who's next? Sherry, did I see your hand go up? Who else's hand did I see go up? Sherry? Hi, can you hear me? <laughs> okay, all right. Here goes. Mine's not quite as detailed as Lori's. So 
I want to see amazing results and hear stories told of tons and tons of people who are using our unequaled products. My story is really small. I want so I'm going to live through others, but I want to hear those stories told. My GPS is to listen, learn, focus, and invite. There. That's it. And with passion. That's <laughs> awesome. Passion. Yay. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Annie. Hi there, everybody. Uh, well, I just, I wrote a few things down and I think this is really good for me of where, where I need and where I am right now in my life. Um, so <clears throat> basically I, I think my main, uh, my main goal, my main vision for me <clears throat> would be to have financial freedom for me and my boys um, to work for a company and be with a company that's very healthy. And my third pretty important thing, well, my, it's my third, but I, they're all very important. But my third is um, help my parents in their retired age financially. That's what I have. Awesome. awesome. Thank you for sharing. Who's next? Pam. Okay, mine wasn't quite as detailed, but <laughs> here goes. Uh, I put down, I'd like to be a two-star executive, and that would be 20 cycles every week, uh, $1,080 just in the cycle bonus. Um, and I figured up I'd need to have 180 people buying 100 BV every week. And I would also like to have 20 consultants and four managers. And um, right now my husband is in between jobs, so it'd be really nice. I would like for him to not have to worry about going back to an engineering job or substituting school. So I would like to get him to come to celebration with me. <laughs> and also, um, I do have a few running goals. I want to break two hours on a half marathon and run a 5K in the 25-minute range. So that's what I have so far. <laughs> Thank you. And I wrote that down so I can add you to my vision. And I like your goal set on running for the running goal. I didn't set one of those, but I probably should. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's my daughter. I You want me to go? Who's next? Lisa? Yeah, okay. All right. I'm a little bit more detailed. I'm so happy and grateful that I am a three-star golden circle cycling 40 plus times a week. I hit Crystal Executive on May 27th. Did right? you look at me for permission? Yes, no. <laughs> do that. Yes, do that. Yes. Okay, so um, I have 30 consultants. Carter Winterstrom has gone executive and is cycling 10 plus times a week. Heather Grippentrag has gone one star golden circle and is cycling 10 times, 10 plus times a week. Sherry Scott is a one star golden circle cycling 10 plus more times a week. Lillian has gone executive and is cycling 10 times a week. I have, now those are all people that got, told me what they wanted, so I just kind of added them to my vision. 
So anyway, I have team leaders who are excited, motivated, athletic, goal oriented, driven, very positive individuals. And I have massive action going on in the team. I have Converse shoes in every color. <laughs> That's my goal. I don't have to worry about a budget. I can just walk in and buy whatever color I want. I might do one a week or all of them at one time. I don't know. <laughs> I am driving a new red Mini Cooper with a convertible top. Uh, let's see, I have enrolled in Millionaire Mindset with Jennifer for uh, coaching. Yes. I'm traveling all over the United States doing presentations, supporting and helping um, our team grow. So working with individuals who actually request and, and you know, me for, to come help. Uh, I have built storm shelters for my grandmother, my <laughs> mom, <laughs> and Lillian, my sister. Um, are you feeling that? Yeah. Good. That means it's going to happen. Okay. Stocked with everything that is needed in case of an emergency. So for those of you in Arkansas, Texas, Oklahoma, you know those things are swirling around out there. <laughs> so, okay, I built a new house for my mom and bought her a car of her choice. I built a new house for my sister and a new car of her choice. I'm going on a cruise with my sisters, their choice, of course, and I'm able to fit the whole bill. Feels amazing. Anyway, I'm debt free. I have invested in three rental properties in Las Vegas and really I'm happy guys. <laughs> I swear I'm happy. Um, anyway, I could go on and on. That good? If you feel like it's good. Yeah. Well, it's a great feeling waking up and drinking coffee on the front porch swing. Watching the deer grazing, the smell of honeysuckle, so sweet floating through the air. I love walking down to the river and fishing off of the bridge. So peaceful and relaxing. I live in a 5,000 square foot ranch house in Norfolk, Arkansas. Has five bedrooms with wood floors and wood burning fireplaces in all the rooms. And a uh, screened in porch surrounding the whole house. And that's it for now. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know you were moving away. Well, I just found that she was moving away. You know, <laughs> my ultimate goal is a cabin in in uh, Utah, a house in Hawaii. I like to travel around, so I'm kind of like a, but that'll be just, you know, one of them. Anyway. Well, I'll be yeah, hanging out with Lori. Awesome. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. So, um, all right. When we say when your why makes you cry, right? Um, it's it's the feeling it's the feeling that's the secret and so to be able to see that as complete um, this was planned <laughs> i was pinching her the whole time yes she was <laughs> anyway good job thank you okay who's next Mona? Uh-oh, I just lost light in here. Just, well, I'm in the dark. Anyway, um, I feel like she's crying because she just broke the news to you that she's leaving you. I know, sad day. Um, so I can't even read mine, um, but I have an idea of what it is. So short term, it is my goal to move to Japan and continue to grow my business so that I can prove to the world that we truly live in a space where we can have portable flexible growing careers regardless of where you live and regardless of your circumstances. Um, long term, my husband and I live in a very small but nice modest yellow home on the bay. We have portable flexible careers independent of one another, but we have plenty of time to go on walks, work out every day, and take naps. Um, I'm able to buy special gifts for friends and family, and I'm able to set up fully paid retreats for special women that need getaways. And that's all I can think of right now. 
That's awesome. And what bay are you moving to? So I know where everyone's going to be. Where you <laughs> need to be traveling to. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know. Like some days I wake up and I think that we live on the Texas Bay, um, like near Galveston, Houston, so that we can have access to the Houston airport. But then other days I wake up and I feel like I live on the southeastern coast, somewhere between Charleston and Wilmington, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I have a heart. I can't really see which bay it is. Um, but I know that it's on a bay where we can do flats fishing. So we're not like on big water, but we are on water. Awesome. All right. Who's next? Who's on the phone? Let's see. Who's on the phone? Who's calling from 320? Is there anyone on the phone? Hello? All right. Katya, are you ready? I don't have mine written out. I don't. I can't hear you. I don't have mine written out. Okay. So, um, it's, uh, it's a work in progress as of a couple of days ago. So, next time. So, is that everybody but me? And Vinny. Oh, Vinny. <laughs> you didn't write yours? And he didn't write his. He's he's going by. He's living vicariously through mine. Then he's still swollen, so he's has got stitches in his face. One day we'll be happy when he doesn't have stitches in his face anymore. This is like the seventh time this year. I know, poor guy. All right. So, you guys ready? Okay. All right. Because I'm so happy and grateful, I'm an eight star platinum paid as executive with a maxed out business center over 350 cycles each week consistently on my first business center. I have an amazing team of energy healing, spiritual healing, servant leaders who love to work together, support each other, and are resourceful, motivated, positive, and are excited to grow. The team is in massive momentum and watching them all create and build amazing teams of their own is a true joy. Sitting in the audience and watching Mona receive awards for achieving one star crystal executive and watching her all the way from Japan support her team of 10 consultants, 10 managers, 10 directors, and 10 executives, and also supporting their teams as well to rank advance and become financially secure. I'm jumping up and down for all of their successes. And Lisa Grippentrog achieving paid as executive with 40 plus cycles per week, three star with a team of medical professionals who are all in massive momentum. Yes. I that so out. happy for Laura, who's a chief crystal director and has over 30 active consultants consistently on a weekly basis. So excited for Anna, who has created a massive team of consultants um, who have helped her to rise to over 100 cycles per week and is now a legacy millionaire. She's free to travel create empowering women's retreats and is a paid public speaker who is supporting women to be in their power. These four and the rest of the team are one big family of support for each other and for us. I'm a best-selling author with two books on the bestseller list. This has, this has brought me speaking engagements all over the globe, teaching my theory on forgiveness and empowerment. Renee Brown has even invited me to be on her podcast for an interview. I have multiple sources of income, five million in liquid, money and another five million in, in assets and investments. This freedom of security has allowed me to do, go, be, have, give wherever we desire. We were able to contribute money in a way we could have never imagined before. We support girls' organizations all over the globe. We have friends all over the world who are making a difference to the planet and the people of this world and we are invited to visit often and spend time and share in their endeavors. Um, our women's retreats are sold out multiple times per year. We are helping and empowering women all over the world. The testimonials of our women attendees are so powerful and heartwarming. It warms my soul and fills me up to be doing such good work in the world. Our life is peaceful, loving, and feels full all the time. Then I have like a whole chapter in there about Vinny, but I'm not going to share that right now. Is that okay? 
All right, cool. Yay. Is that good? So if anybody wants to be, and I'm going to read that like, towards today. So if anybody wants to be in there where I'm jumping up and down and excited, then, you know, you're walking across the stage and I'm watching and it's cool. Then we just get to share in the vision. So mm -hmm. no oppositions. And as we put that out there, then we're going to be tested to ask if we really want it. So if we say that we want this, but we don't write that down, or we say that we really want this, but and but we don't do the things every day that that really will get us there. And sometimes it's just a small amount of, you know, of a simple matrix of things. Like um, Chad was telling me today about um, somebody who doesn't want two, three, four, five. So it's one affirmation a day, two gratitudes, three follow-ups, four cold calls and five minutes of working out. Or like, it was something. It was like a one, two, three, four, five. Like how simple, right? So um, just the thoughts of where we're all going. So where are we going? We're, if we're going to do this together and we're going to be a team and build each other up and work together and make this thing happen, then I think it's good that we all know where we're going. Even if we're in, in, in different spaces and different places, if we all know where each other is going, then we can build each other up and help in that endeavor. Yeah? Cool. Thank you guys for sharing your visions. I appreciate that. And so for anybody who's listening to the recording or hasn't written it yet, I would encourage you to, um, to get that done. Don't drop the ball on yourself. This is the main part of what's going to help you feel it, right? Absolutely. Sister? Absolutely. Anybody have anything they want to add in? Don't worry. If you, if you don't know where you're going yeah. or what you want, you won't be motivated to make those calls to get there. That's like my best piece of advice. There are weeks when I look at my cycles and I think, oh my gosh, I have to pay my mortgage. I have to pay my this, I have to pay that. So I know what do I need. And even if you set little baby weekly goals like that on top of your big goals, you know what you need. So you know what you have to do that week. It gets you on the phone and, you know, off of your duff and moving. So it's super, at least that's what works for me. So absolutely. Sherry? Yes. This is my first Zoom call, and it is wonderful. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yay. Fun. Come apart. So glad that you're here with us. I never make calls on this Sunday. Love. But hi. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is great. It's great putting the faces with those that I see on Facebook all the time. So I'm very excited. Thank you over and out. <laughs> mm, so good. Anybody have anything else they want to add in? Thank you to our newbie Zoomer. <laughs> good. Nothing? Something coming up this week? Something we need to share? No? Good? Happy? Vinny and I are leaving in the morning for Dallas. If there's anybody we need to talk to or see for you guys, then let us know. And so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's clicking my pen. You know, I'm ADD. I just I'll get it. So I want to share. Yes. Yeah, I want to share a little bit. So I want to tell you both of you, thank you for, for coming out and being with me. And um it really it, it's all motivating. And you know, it is true, these these Zoom calls and three-way um you know, if you can't get to the events, because right now at this point, I can only get to the Nashville in my life. But um, today I've had a very moving day. Um, and I don't know why I'm emotional, but it just, there's a lot. <laughs> I started out with Mona in the morning and it was wonderful. Um, then I started out with, then after Mona, um, Michael Lance, it was another great meeting and it's just it's just moving today you guys um mona's 
wonderful um, event. I, I have friends that are really giving me some great feedback about it um, even before the event and just following up with them. And I'm so good. I know what I'm good at and that's customer service. Um, but for me to believe in this product, I, I feel like it is, it is all such a great combination. Um, I just have to continue uh, reaching out to the team because you guys are very amazing because I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Mona. And so I'm really thankful. Thank you for sharing that. And we're thankful for you. And thank you for having us in your beautiful home. We had some fun. Absolutely. And got avocados. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's like, yes, yeah. he enjoyed the avocado. They're growing like crazy. They're growing like crazy. And then the blood oranges are going, it's just, yeah, it's been a great day. So, and you're doing great. And thank you so much for um, saying yes and being part yes. of what we're creating here. So, yeah, it's, so my it's vision is coming in. And your spirit and your, your happy little joyful self with us. I appreciate it. Yeah, do the avocados grow in September? Vinny wants to know. So there will be avocados when we get there. They do. My, uh, they do. My avocados, they grow. And it's funny how it's um, normally, it's just, it's a, well, it, the avocado fest is a yearly fest. Um, so they harvest around this time. But I've known, or my trees have known to, to harvest twice. And it's in September, October. And then again, during these, months like of March, April, May. So it's pretty cool. And it takes them a while to grow. So that makes my husband really happy right now. So oh good. <laughs> be picking avocados. All right. Okay. And you'll be picking citrus too. So <laughs> okay. Citrus is good too. All right. Okay. Guys, thank you so much. And thank you. I um is there anybody who would like the last word tonight? No. I'd like to share uh, part of my vision is improving on my running. And when I first met Laura Sipko, I knew that she could help me improve. And um, she ran a 5K with me last weekend. And I had run one the previous week. And I improved a minute and a half just from her coaching and telling me to shorten my steps. And I'm, I'm already short, so I've tried to overstride to, to compensate. But she was with me the whole time, just telling me to relax and short steps and keep my hands um, parallel, which I tend to rotate my core. So she planted the vision that I'm going to get a 25 in the 25 minute range on a 5k. So that's um, my goal for later this year. And also to break the two hour on a half marathon, which is, it's quite a goal to reach. And I, I keep having setbacks and I'm chipping away and then I have a setback. So that's my goal for the end of the year to, to break the two hours. Mm, that's awesome. That's a big improvement just for a 5k. It, it is. Awesome. It really is. And it was hot, so I can't wait till it cools off. You'll be flying. Right? That's yeah, awesome. and she's offered to run with me in a few more races mm -hmm. during the year. That's good. Team support in mm -hmm. all areas. We love it, right? It's not just about it's not just about that stuff, right? It's not just about shakes and it's just so much more than that. People come in and think it's just a shake company, right? But they learn soon that that's not just what we are. Yes, she's been very supportive. So good. Um, well, that's a beautiful last word. I love that mm -hmm. tonight. So thank you all for being here. And thank you for um, adjusting to the Tuesday. And let's see how this all goes. And make sure you tag your teams and let them know that Tuesdays is the new time. and. Um, we have some cool stuff coming up, so it'll be, you will want to make sure that everyone's plugged in. If we're not plugged in, our batteries go dead. So we've got to keep our batteries charged. 
the world can be a tough place if we let it. And if we disconnect, then our, our batteries get sucked low even faster. So um, stay plugged in and have a great week, everyone. Go rock your life. Bye. Bye.